Ever smelled something like rotten eggs near a drain or a hot spring? That's sulfur. But did you know it's super important for life, from plants to proteins to your muscles and hair? So how does sulfur travel through nature, from volcanoes to vegetables to you? Let's break down the sulfur cycle step by step. Step 1. Release into the atmosphere. Sulfur gets released from volcanoes and burning fuels, mostly as sulfur dioxide gas. Step 2. Acid rain alert. This gas mixes with clouds and rains down as acid rain. It damages monuments but also adds sulfur to the soil. Step 3. Absorption by plants. Plants absorb sulfates from the soil and use them to make proteins, kind of like their daily nutrition dose. Step 4. Sulfur enters food chain. Then, animals eat those plants, and sulfur enters their bodies. It ends up in milk, muscles, and even in your hair. Step 5. Decomposition. When plants and animals die or generate wastes, soil bacteria break it down and release hydrogen sulfide gas. Yep, that smell again. Step 6. Back to the soil. More bacteria convert that gas back into sulfates, and the cycle repeats like a perfect loop. And that's the sulfur cycle. A bit stinky, but totally essential for farming, food, and even you. Thanks for watching. Follow for more quick and quirky science.